Hey, as we get into 2023, uh, we start looking at tax strategies and one of tax a couple of tax strategies for 2023 uh, I wanted to recommend is looking at your charitable giving. Um, many people have required minimum distributions they have to pull out of their IRAs each year. You still can take the RMDs, the required minimum distributions out. If you don't need those funds, you can gift that to a, um, a nonprofit. So for example, let's say you're required to pull $10,000 out of your uh, IRA each year, but you're already giving $10,000 out of your checking account. Well, stop doing that and start gifting it directly from the IRA, and then that money will not get counted as income. So it's a great way to reduce your overall tax liability. This doesn't, you don't have to have an RMD to do that. You can actually start at like 70 and a half to take uh, to do charitable contributions from your from your IRA. Something else to consider uh, is a donor advised fund. So you can gift money from your RMD to your own fund that then gets invested just like a brokerage account. And then you can choose later where you want to donate the money. Uh, obviously, it doesn't have to be a required minimum distribution. It could be any amount. Uh, many of our clients who have sold businesses have put uh, a percentage of that into a donor advised fund. Uh, and they actually use it around the holidays. So their, their families um, think about which uh, nonprofits they want to help during the holidays, uh, and they take the dividends from all those uh, contributions to do that. Uh, so anyway, it could be something that you send around legacy in your family. It's something you could live for a very long time, uh, even past, past you. Uh, but a donor advised fund, you get the tax deduction right away, and you can donate the money officially to the 501c3s uh, at a later date. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps.